you need a shoe that provides support for the arch, as well as comfort for the heel and toe areas. You're a young woman. It'd be a shame to ruin your feet. Maybe you could give me something to numb my feet, like Novocaine or something? Oh, I couldn't do that. Anyway, the damage would still continue. You just wouldn't be able to feel it. Duh. Well, thanks very much for everything. Ah, youth. Oh, she's going to ruin her back. I've got to give you credit, girl. You haven't bought into this stereotype, have you? The cult of youth and beauty. Oh, well, I suppose. Good old Margaret. You aren't afraid to just be yourself, let it all hang out and just be the great old broad that you are. Old? I'm only 39. I'd like a couple of nice chops, please. Ooh. Yes, miss? Hi, Dr. Fish. Oh, hello, Joan. You know her? Uh, she's a patient. You're her doctor? I promised my boyfriend steak, but I don't really know that much about meat. Wow. Well, you got your sirloin, your strip loin, your tenderloin, and your New York strip. And that's just for starters. Oh, dear. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting your Argentinian beef? I can handle this. You see, uh, down in Argentina, uh, they've got something like to call the pampas. My chops? Oh, sure, if you don't care about the rainforest. My chops? Did you know that 95% of the world's medicines come from the rainforest? Hey, newsflash. She's not here to buy medicine. She's here to buy meat. It's Vietnamese takeaway. I was in the butcher's shop and the man totally ignored me. Once you hit 40, it's like you become invisible. Oh, do I look old to you? No, not at all. Because Robin seemed surprised that I was only 39. And the men at the butcher's shop were falling all over this young girl, who I know for a fact is ruining her feet. Oh, this smells interesting. I thought we were having chops. 12-year-old pop star and budding sex symbol Tina Stairs has signed a $6 million agreement with Prince Boris Vodka, whereby she promises to start consuming the popular alcoholic beverage the moment she turns 18. Oh, that's exactly what I mean. If a 12-year-old girl is considered sexy, what chance does a 40-year-old have? You're not 40, Margaret. You're 39. OK, 39. Can a 39-year-old still be attractive? I suppose it, it, it's possible, yes. Do you think I'm sexy? Hmm? Of course I do. What a question. Then how can we hardly ever, you know, do it anymore? We do. No, we don't. We do. Remember, we did it that night after the FA Cup final. Oh, that was so long ago, I can barely remember it. Ah, oh, sure you can. Arsenal won. 2-0. Oh. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, it's Trevor and Joyce again. I, I've just about had enough of this. I don't understand why he and Joyce are constantly having sex. I mean, they're not that attractive as people. What a thing to say. Do you think only attractive people have sex? Well, no. I mean, that's clearly not the case, you know, given how many unattractive people there are around. Look, if it's making you feel uncomfortable, we could close the window. You know I can't sleep with the window closed. It's out of the park! Ah! Ah! We're going to have to speak to them about it. I mean, people have to work in the morning. Speak to them about it? What would we say? I don't know. Surely you can think of something. Me? Yeah, you know, women are more comfortable talking about that sort of thing. Oh, are we? How would you know that? Watching Oprah. Oh, God, is a living next door to a couple of water buffalo? Oh, 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 yes. oh, 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 I'll be lucky if I don't put someone's eye out with a drill today. Maybe you should have one more cup of coffee. Uh, I'm jittery enough already. i better see what it's like out. Bats! 
Oh. Morning, Joyce. Uh, yeah, just checking to see if I need a brolly. <laughs> gorgeous morning, just gorgeous. Margaret's still home? Got something to show her. A ring colono. They just delivered it. I wore the last one out. She's gonna love it. <laughs> oh, hi. Try this on. What is it? It's a de-wrinkleizer. Makes your skin look just like porcelain. Suction pads grab the skin and pull. You see? Activating the skin's own natural elasticity. Oh, it looks painful. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll leave you girls to it then. Bob? <sighs> Honey, it's none of my business for saying, but you're looking a little tired lately. Well, I haven't been getting much sleep. <laughs> me neither. Since I started using this thing, Trevor won't keep his hands off of me. I know. Ooh. I, I, I mean... You know? Oh, uh, it's not like we've been eavesdropping. The window. Oh, Trevor likes fresh air when he sleeps. So does Bob. Well, funny you can hear us. We never hear anything coming from your place. Well, uh, we've both been working very hard lately. Uh-huh. Listen, honey, men are all the same. You want to get their attention? You got to polish up the brass. Come on, try this on. A week of this, you'll look ten years younger. Oh, I really have to get to work. It's also great for the hiney. You strap it to your butt and sit on it. Of course, you have to keep using it, otherwise you end up looking like a basset hound. Here are those files. Gwyn? Yeah? What do you think of my hair? It's interesting. Do you think it makes me look old? How old are you? How old do you think I am? Let's see. My mother's 50. Uh, 50? 50? Ooh, maybe I do need a little change. Nothing to... Yes, it. I know just the place. They don't just do hair. They do everything. They can totally make you over. I, I don't want everything. I just... A friend of mine works there. I'll see if she can get us in. Hmm... We're lucky they had a cancellation. Oh, oh dear. Isn't it fantastic? Hey, Gwen. Hey, Sid. This is Margaret I told you about. Oh, so glad you can make it. You're going to love this new aesthetic enhancement treatment software program. All we have to do is scan in the photos we took of you, punch in various codes for eye tuck, nose job, Lip injection, gel tuck, breast augmentation, liposuction, butt lift, thigh shapers, etc., etc., and... Voila! Isn't it fantastic? Oh, dear. And the best part is, once you have chosen the many enhancements you wish to have done, one of our many highly skilled beautification and restoration practitioners will perform the procedure right here on the premises. But, uh, I don't want all that. Uh, I, I was thinking just a trim, really. Uh, you know, a haircut. Hmm. This is rather creepy, actually. Well, you can just keep it as a reminder, just in case you change your mind. Look at her. She's a 40-year-old who wants to walk out of here looking 20 and change. This is a career-defining moment. You can't quit on me now. I need you on this one, Dick. I told you I'm quit. I was quit when I came in here. I'm twice as quit now. Hey, what am I supposed to do? Hand over to one of the kids? Are those greenhorns? I need you, Dick. I need the best. I'm gonna cut your hair. I'm gonna cut it like it's never been cut before. Do you understand me? Uh, I was thinking just a trim, really. And when I do, you're going to see the real Bonnie. Who? Uh, forget it. We're going to see the real whatever your name is. Margaret. M Margaret Fish. Uh, this is the real me. I I I've always worn it this way. Are you going to let me cut it? Well, I suppose. Code blue. <laughs> oh! 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 
It's you, baby. It's your wife. Uh, thank you, Heather. She sounds excited. Yeah, thank you, Heather. Hello, Margaret. Uh, hello, Bob. Uh, let's have dinner out tonight. In the middle of the week? I have a surprise. Just meet me at the Indian place at 7 o'clock. Ah, oh, Margaret, there you are. Oh, I'm famished. You don't notice anything? You look a little tired. Not much wonder, though. Did you speak to Joyce, by the way? You don't notice anything different. Wait, hold still. Uh, do you like it? Turn around. Let me have a look. Well, what do you think? Mm. You need to see a professional. But he was a professional. Very expensive. It cost me $170. What are you talking about? My new hairdo. What are you talking about? The mole on the back of your neck. Oh, that's my beauty mark. It's just that my hair was longer before. Well, haven't you ever noticed? Oh, of course. I, I just noticed it more now. Oh, you never noticed it. You don't notice anything about me. Margaret. Oh, I just hope I never go missing or, or get abducted and have to rely on you giving my description to the police. You're being ridiculous. Am I? But the mole, Margaret, the mole. We have to keep an eye on that sort of thing. Oh, because worry it... about your own mole, then. Perhaps if I looked a bit more like this, you'd notice me. Wow. Uh, I mean, what is this? Is this you? It could be. All it would take is a little plastic surgery. Which apparently I need. You need no such thing. You like it. You like the picture. I do not. You said wow? Yes, yes. But, but it wasn't that kind of a wow. It was more of a surprise wow. I mean, if you saw a big car accident, you'd say, well, I certainly don't approve of this sort of thing. Why don't you just have dinner with her? That's what you want. Margaret, wait. Oh, Margaret. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. She has very firm breasts. <gasps> Margaret, I, I don't like it when we go to sleep angry. Oh, apparently you don't like it when we go to sleep happy either. Tonight, I promise, I'll bring home a bottle of that nice Beaujolais. We'll leave off the telly and stay in. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't understand why you're so upset. Because it's never going to change. Men are always going to be attracted to younger women. And women are expected to practically disfigure themselves if they want to keep a man's attention. Look at that contraption Joyce wears every day. Maybe I should have plastic surgery and end up looking like a dog in a car with its head out the window at 60 miles an hour. You're exaggerating. Why is it that men can hit 40 and just let themselves go and look any old way they want and nobody cares? What's wrong with the way I look? What do you think? Tattoo. What? Oh. Use the mole as part of the design. I'm thinking the eye of a salamander or the thorax of a spider... I was thinking more in terms of seeing a doctor. Regular doctor? You need a plastic surgeon if you don't want to be scarred for life. I had a cyst on my bum removed, and now I've got the Grand Canyon of Scars, a virtual lunar crater. Want to see? Oh, please, spare us.
Uh, Heather, you're a woman. Thank you for noticing. Oh, right. <laughs> um, uh, what's your opinion on, uh, well, you know, plastic surgery? Liposuction around the waist? Suck that fat out of your face to give you some cheekbones. Tuck the pouches under the eyes and hair plugs. Transplants if you've got a hairy enough butt. I meant for Margaret, my wife. Why would you force your wife to get plastic surgery? I'm not. No, that's just it. She thinks I wanted to, and I I'm having a devil of a time. You know, I mean, I made it very clear I didn't think she needed anything like that. And just don't skimp on the doctor, like you do on your clothes. You know, you have to pay for a good one. I mean, some of those guys are real butchers. What, what do you mean? It's all right here in Mrs. Magazine. Some real horror stories. Like this one about a woman who went for a simple eye tuck and the doctor misread her chart and she went home with tusks. <gasps> and there's another one about this overworked doctor who after a 19-hour day gave a patient breast implants. Isn't that rather common nowadays? Yeah, except the man only went in for a simple vasectomy. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can guess where the implants ended up. Oh, my God. Good afternoon, Women's Clinic. How can I help you? Uh, hello, Gwyn. Is, uh, is Margaret there? Oh, hello, Bob. No, I'm afraid she's not. Uh, did, did she say where she was going? Home to get her health card. <gasps> Margaret! Maybe you can catch her there. Anything the matter? Bob? Hello? Bob? Are you there? Margaret! 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 You just missed her. She went to get her work removed. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Oh, good Lord. I just told her while they had her up on the hoist, she might as well get a few other things looked at, too, eh? Did she say where she's getting it done? I mean, you reach a point where the scotch tape oh, and hemorrhoid God, cream no. stop working. You for you, clinic. Dr. Klein will see you now. Oh, won't you come in, Dr. Fish? Oh, come on! <laughs> Get a move on! Now, what can I do for you? Well, uh, I have this mole on the back of my neck, and I've always had it, but, but my husband is a bit worried about it and, and thinks it might turn into something. Sure, sure, I understand. But you can tell me... What do you mean? Come on. Oh, this is just ridiculous. The mole, yes, but what are you really here for? Well, just the mole. What else? Oh, right, that's it. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> you needn't be so coy. What do you mean? I've been at this for a while. You come in for the mole, but it's really an excuse to get other things done, eh, um foot in the door, if you will. <laughs> so what do you need done? Hmm? Breasts? <laughs> Liposuction? Are you following me? Where is she? My wife, Margaret Fish. I'm sorry, she's already gone in with the... Sir, you can't go in there! Oh, my God. Margaret, what have you done? Oh. Oh, this is all my fault. No, no, don't try to speak. Oh, where's the, the, the Frankenstein who did this to you? What's going on here? I want to know what you've done to my wife. A chemical peel, rhinoplasty, and a tummy tuck. Is there a problem? Yes, there's a problem. Mm -hmm. The problem is, I love my wife exactly the way she is. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I blame myself, I suppose. I, I've been inattentive lately, but perhaps I've been taking her for granted. Oh, Margaret, can you hear me? I, I'm sorry. I, I love you just the way you are. Were, with all your flaws, with, with all your shortcomings. Warts and all. I don't have any warts. Margaret! Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh. All this fuss over a mole?
Is this new? Is what new? This cream. It's a new moisturiser. I thought I'd give myself a treat. Oh, it smells nice. Hmm. What are you doing? Closing the window. You can't sleep with the window closed. <laughs> Who said anything about sleeping, eh? <laughs> you know, I rather like that mole. 